Welcome back viewers and today we're going to talk about meditation and prayer and this is session number four. Often we hear the expression the silent scream or I like to call it the groan from my soul. My soul is groaning. That's just how I um, express it or try to explain it. So that's what I intend to do today. There is a sound that escapes from our lips, faintly audible at times, and it actually takes us quite by surprise. It stops us. There's puzzlement. We seem to stand still in time, suspended animation. And thoughts will cross our mind like, how did that happen? Where did that come from? I think some of you will know what I'm speaking about. I will explain how it happens. You can be deep in thought and examining your conscience and preparing for your prayer and conversation with Hashem. So you might start reflecting on something. And as usual, your mind casts you back to something else. And how often do we say, oh, I wish I'd have done that. Oh, what was I ever thinking of? But do you know, our soul has an expression too. And before we can even perhaps vocalise that thought of what possessed me to do that, and I was it was madness what I did. Sorry, there's a helicopter flying over at the moment. So this sound is the groaning of our soul. It's, it's like, you know, um, it, it can be faintly audible it, or it can even just be like a whisper. It escapes our lips and that does happen. It is a very real phenomena. And instead of leaving yourself in a state of quandary and wonderment over it or puzzlement, I'm explaining that it is actually the soul groaning. Now, what does that mean? And when does it happen? Usually happens when you're in deep meditative state and you are really examining your conscience or digging deep within, having that conversation, that prayerful connection with Hashem. And you may even be talking in your mind about something else or talking to Hashem about something else that perhaps is important. And then suddenly your mind takes you to an action or something that was in the past or it could have been, as I said, an action or something you said, um, but it, it suddenly, it's a, oh, you know, and that sort of groan within, but it, it comes out and by surprise, you didn't intend to make an audible sound. It wasn't an intention at all, but somehow this groan or murmuring escapes your lips. And that is a, a, an automatic response. It, it was something you didn't have control over. And you're not to be alarmed at that. That is a very special thing that is happening. So how do I explain that? Well, for me, I explain it from my point of view where you are talking to Hashem. You may be saying, oh, I wished I'd handled this at work better this week. I shouldn't have said that or I should have done 
something different but then suddenly the mind conjures up another experience it could have been years ago it suddenly pops into your mind it's like the soul's saying yeah well what about this and then you your mind briefly ponders on that and you think oh you know it 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 it's just impacts so much that in that silence of you contemplating that or recalling that the soul is groaning why it's groaning because it's thinking about that that past experience and it's it the groaning is a, is a mixture of the painful memory but it's also combined with that welcome relief of acknowledgement and hashem's forgiveness all happening at once so there's a whole heap i'm using the word emotions a heap of emotions going on within yourself but mostly the soul which is a living part of you it's your essence it's it's sharing its independent opinion its independence is that that moan that came from nowhere the groaning from the soul and it's a not to frighten you it's it's something some people experience frequently some people experience it only very occasionally some people may never have experienced but it is in essence a good thing because two things are happening you're recalling something you're feeling the regrets the soul's in tune with you and it's doing the same but the relief that knowing that now this is behind you this acknowledgement puts it in the past now it will be forgiven and it's like the soul is projecting its response that groan from within oh you know it's over with so it's our deepest regrets and sorrow and shame etc so we're acknowledging it to god and that relief that follows as we ask for that forgiveness and then with the forgiveness that we receive the soul exhales so to speak and it exhales with relief and joy which can culminate in a low groan or a moan or it can be a combination of different sounds but you think straight away where did that come from i don't think i meant to do that it came from somewhere and and so it's good it's a good sign i know it's hard to comprehend but let me give you a very uh, practical example of an explanation some of you would have had uh, experience with um, a carbuncle now a carbuncle is a very painful thing it's like a massive boil with not one head but several heads on it painful awful things you used to see them a lot years ago don't tend to see them as much nowadays but this great cavernous bulge that's it's sort of like a volcano with several tops on it several blowholes so to speak and it's that tender the skin is taut and painful and you know you dessent touch it but it has to be opened and lanced at least one of those heads has to be opened so that the infection the pus uh, all all the dead skin and debris that's built up there is what's causing pain so in other words it's got to be evacuated and the quickest and easiest way is to pop 
a couple of those heads or at least one at least at, at a time anyway. What happens is all that pain's there and then when the doctor or the nurse uh, manages to prick or open one of those openings, it is painful. Make no mistake, you will groan. But then it's followed, it exhales out and the relief is unbelievable as that pressure is relieved by the debris uh, and infection coming out of the opening. So if you can use that carbuncle example as a, a, probably a very distasteful way, but we've all had a, 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 an abscess or a, an infection or something at some stage and you know how painful it is. But the moment the, uh, the situation is addressed and it's popped, so to speak, it's painful, that initial pop, but then bang, it's the relief starts to come after all that uh, debris underneath is, is wiped away. And that is what the soul is doing in a spiritual way. It's been grown, it, it's been suffering under the carbuncle of our, um, how shall I say, uh, unrighteousness or, or, or um, omissions or bad behaviour, etc. But when you acknowledge that and say, Hashem, I'm sorry, and you recall something, it's like then the, the carbuncle is popped. It's all let out. All that rubbish is all let out and you're going to heal and start afresh. Your sins have been forgiven. So the soul at that moment go, has this, um, uh, how shall I say, it's like the soul is exhaling in relief and that, can work its way to the actual lips and come out as a sound. Now, some of you may find that difficult to grasp, but others of you will know exactly what I'm talking about. And it is when you think, where did that come from? Uh -huh. Oh, now I understand. So the build up and then that moment when you remember and regret something and think, oh, how did I ever, oh, dear, oh, dear. And then it's almost instantaneous at the same time. You get this groan of relief and it's like the pressure valve has been released. Think about this. And it is important that we sometimes take time to Understand that our soul and our body works in tandem. And it has a voice, not just our vo a voice that we have in our tongue and our mouth and etc. But our soul is saying, I have a voice too. And that's what that, that Sometimes silent groaning, but other times it actually escapes and comes out on the lips as a sound. Thank you all again for staying tuned and listening to my meditation and prayer videos. The painting in the background is uh, something that I, I did some time ago and it was in relation to that turmoil etc that we have in our lives and then somehow we start to break free of it we start to um, come through the storm and come out the other side so I just found it today and thought it was just appropriate to put it up on the screen here for you to look at thank you all so much for listening Please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. And check out the playlist. There's over 200 and something videos on my channel now. In the meantime, remember your soul 
has a right to groan with relief. Help it. Please take care and God bless.